This is going to be a review of the GI system, uh, the high yield things that usually come up on step uh, and in the, in the question banks. Uh, we'll start from the top, the esophagus, and, and just work our way down. Uh, in the esophagus, Zenker's diverticulum is when it outpatches through the cricopharyngeal muscles, which are innervated by the vagus nerve. Um, and also, when you drink a lot of alcohol, that can lead to squamous cell carcinomas of the esophagus, which are a terrible one. I think Christopher Hitchens uh, actually had that one. In the stomach, uh, H. pylori, it's called that because of it's by the pyloric antrum. Um, and so the pathophysiology there is that by the antrum, you also have the D cells. And the D cells usually inhibit gastrin. So if you have a H. pylori infection over there, uh, you lose your D cells, you can't inhibit gastrin, and so you have too much acidity. Um, also, the gastroduodenal artery is commonly tested. Uh, and that would be presents with a posterior duodenal bleed. In the small intestines, if you have past positive foamy macrophages, this is Whipple's disease. And the past positive with Whipple's is not lipids, it's because of glycoproteins, and you treat Whipple's with antibiotics. Um, you can also have a lactase deficiency. A point I want to make here is that you, lactase is located in the tips of the villi. So anytime that you have um, an insult to the GI system, like if you have a viral gastroenteritis, and the tip, you, can, you can have a, a lactase deficiency, like a temporary one. Um, and if you, did a micro, if you looked under a microscope, you wouldn't actually see anything wrong. It would, it would look like it is completely normal. Um, also in the small intestine is where you'd, you'd see your Meckel's diverticulum. It's a true diverticulum. It's made out of all three layers. It comes from the mid gut and uh, it presents, you know, this child's going to have painless bleeding and ectopic gastric tissue. In the ileocecal valve, just in between the small intestine and the large intestine, a whole bunch of pathology shows up there. It's, it's quite interesting. The, there's a lot of lymphoid tissue there. Um, so if you have an infection, it can inflame the lymph tissue and that can cause that can block the, the appendix causing appendicitis. Um, the increased luminal pressure can cause intersusceptions. And it's also the site uh, for carcinoid tumors usually hang out there. Uh, regarding carcinoid tumors, they usually only activate once they uh, metastasize to the liver. Uh, in the large intestines, Crohn's versus ulcerative colitis, uh, this is a gold topic, can't stress this enough. Uh, something that got me with Crohn's disease is that because you can't, you're losing bile and you're not absorbing vitamin K, uh, that I've seen some questions about bruising and, and that kind of thing. So, so the vitamin K with Crohn's, be aware of that. Um, and ulcerative colitis, toxic megacolon is, is, is very important. Um, that's the feared complication over there. Uh, it can also be caused by C. diff, but if, if you do have toxic megacolon, do not do an enema or a colonoscopy because you can perforate it. And the treatment for ulcerative colitis is going to be mesalamine. Um, in the small intestines, you can also have adenomas. And the worst one, I don't know why, but they ask us a lot, the large villus adenoma is the worst one to have. If you have a young patient uh, who has like a, a cancer in their, in their colon, and also maybe some other cancers, uh, Lynch syndrome should be on the differential. And this, again, is a problem with DNA mismatch repair. Um, in the liver, some pathologies that you can have over there, Wilson's disease, this is super high yield. Wilson's disease, just to review, is when copper is normally excreted in the bile, but you cannot do that. So it builds up in places like the basal ganglia. So you can have like Parkinson's-like effects. You can have um, a Kaiser Fleischerlings around the eye, which uh, can be... They, they may call it like a brown granular deposits around the uh, around the cornea. That's Kaiser Fleischer rings. rings. Um, and you can also have black urine. You could have Mallory bodies with Wilson's disease. Really a, a very wide presentation over there. Um, and it's so generally though, the young, young patient, liver problems, uh, neurologic problems, um, and the treatment of course is penicillamine. Um, you can also have uh, Dubin-Johnson syndrome when you can't excrete bile. So you're able to conjugate it. Everything works great, but you just can't excrete it. Um, and so you have the buildup of the conjugated bilirubin. Um, and a note here is that this can present in adulthood. So you may have a patient who's 18, 19, comes to the office uh, with Dubin-Johnson syndrome. Um, also, 
when you have liver problems, let's say you're progressing to cirrhosis, the first thing that goes up is the PT, and then the PTT goes up after that. So the PT first, um, and then if you do get cirrhosis, and let's say it leads to hepatocellular carcinoma, that cancer spreads in the blood. Um, so to, to be aware of, of how that cancer spreads. Uh, in the gallbladder, gallbladder pathology, stones, I mean, you, you know, the, the, the four Fs, the fat female, 40, fertile, and 40 stones come up. Also, the fact that the, bi the gallbladder usually reabsorbs water uh, from, the, from the fluid inside of it. So if, if it, you have, like, stasis of the gallbladder, uh, you create, like, this sludge, which is really not helpful. Uh, finally, with the gallbladder, you can form fistulas with the small intestine. These are pretty rare, but it can happen. Um, and so if you did an x-ray, you'd see air in the gallbladder or the biliary tree, which obviously should not be there unless you had some kind of fistula. Um, and the fistulas, interestingly, this takes us back to the ileocecal valve, uh, you get a gallstone ileus, which is when the gallstones go through the small intestine, and that's where they get stuck. So full circle over there. The pancreas, uh, trypsinogen is activated into trypsin by an enzyme called enterokinase. This is a huge, huge uh, topic over here because enterokinase is a biochem and they love to incorporate that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, enterokinase, uh, again, is an enzyme that does this. If you have a deficiency in enterokinase, uh, you'll have like uh, diarrhea, you'll be losing protein, so you'll have edema and you'll have failure to thrive. Uh, with pain, if someone comes in with pancreatitis, um, take a look at the MCV. And if it's high, you can probably assume this maybe is probably alcohol related. Um, and the, the complication of pancreatitis is uh, pancreatic pseudocysts that can develop later. Um, in the rectum, so working our way down, in the rectum, uh, meds I wrote here. To be aware that medications, if you give medications uh, in the rectum, it's going to bypass the liver. So if it's a pro drug, for example, that needs to be activated in the liver, don't give it rectally. Uh, on the topic of medications, uh, metoclopramide is an important one. Metoclopramide is a D2 antagonist. It's given to stimulate the bowels to move. So if you have a, a diabetic patient um, that hasn't had a bowel movement after surgery, metoclopramide may be the first line agent that you go to over there. Um, because it's a D2 antagonist, though, it can have Parkinson's-like effects. So because it's like strange in that nature, it, it's questioned fairly often. Um, and it also has a, another use when you have migraines and like nausea associated with migraines, metoclopramide helps with that. The last topic here is the hernias. Uh, so inguinal hernias, uh, you have your inferior epigastric artery, medial ones, medial to that is gonna be direct hernias, lateral is going to be indirect. I remember MD, we're all trying to be doctors, medial is direct. Um, and it goes directly through the transversalis fascia, that's, that's where it's going through the transversalis fascia. Um, and, in, in, and femoral hernias, uh, sometimes they may ask anatomically where that's located. Uh, fem, so you have your femoral artery, medial to that is the femoral vein, right? Venus closer to the penis, femoral vein, and then medial to that is where you have your femoral hernia. Uh, I hope this is helpful. I hope, you, you know, this is useful. And um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, feel free to, to reach out.